Hello and welcome to, to Elemental, Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Jeff. I'm Chris Ann. I'm Jeff. And you are listening on the Pagan Business Network Radio. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And tonight we are going to be talking about what it means to be ascended. And we are talking about getting up <laughs> no. or climbing a ladder. <laughs> What it means to be ascended, living with others that are ascended, how do we deal with that, uh, etc. Et <laughs> so, yep. so we're, we're going to talk about how how to help others to get there. So, you know, what what do you mean to you, Jack, to say um, somebody is ascended or you're ascended? Well, um, when I first off, I do believe I'm ascended. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I guess the biggest thing for me is having, um, the knowledge that my actions mean more than just passing time. Oh, that, that the things that I do, I need, I need to think about the things that I do and, yeah. and try and make it so that they of the highest and mm-hmm. best good mm-hmm. for everyone, for right. the world, for exactly. me, for people I'm dealing with. Mm-hmm. Um, and part of that, too, is knowing that if I run into a situation that is less than a desirable or a situation where um, I'm drawn to do something of a negative aspect, mm-hmm then I have to think about it. And I have to think about the consequences both at the time yep. and the repercussions that will be coming back to me mm-hmm. because of, shall we say, crossing that line? Right, right, you know? right. <clears throat> I got it. So for me, what it means to be ascended is to always do what is in my highest and best good, to always be within my highest and best good. And to say, to say that I view myself as being ascended does not mean I'm going to put up with crap. <laughs> and I that's, think, that's kind of where and, I was going. And, I, right, and, and I think that there are some people that sort of misunderstand that, that just because you are doing things that are within your highest and best good, and you're doing things to help others, and... You know, whatever I see, I, I explained this to somebody once and they thought I was a little nuts, but that's okay. Right. I'm a lot nuts. So, so every time I drive down the road, and of course we live in Maine, so there's a lot of animals here. And if there's an animal that is killed on the side of the road, I always open up my heart chakra and I send to that animal's soul. Always. And I explained that to somebody once and they're like, you do what? I was like... This is what I do because to me, that soul maybe doesn't know that they're deceased or that soul still needs a little bit of love because of that traumatic event that that may have just happened to them or or happened the day before to them. That's something that I always, I'm doing that for years and years and years. I've, I've always done that. You know, that's just something that I do. And, you know, if if I am not able to monetarily help somebody out, like a, a fellow human being, I send them good thoughts. I ask their guys, their angels, help them in a way that, that can help them. How is it that we can align the universe in order to help them for their highest and best good? Right. I do my best for that. Yeah. Help you them know, manifest. Help, help manifest for that. You know, um... I'm going to talk about what I did for my son. Cool. <laughs> so I'm going to throw that in here. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, so my son, Ari, who has been on one of the radio shows before here, one of my radio shows before, um, my son, Ari, is um, very, very ill. Actually, he's quite ill. And so he doesn't have a lot of <laughs> fully happy days. You know, he's... He's, he's a very ascended soul within his own right, and he's dealing with, um, you know, the ramifications of being an ascended soul stuck in the human body, right. and, and how do you deal with that? Of course, he's nine. Um, so I started a card campaign for him, 
but I just asked that people send him thinking of you cards. You know? Yeah. Stuff like that just brings a smile to his face. Well, today was the first day the cards started to arrive. So I did this, started this a week ago. So I'll, I'll give you the address if anybody is interested in that much, much. So the address is to Ari, A-R-I, and the initials P-M. And it's going to go to P.O. Box 425 in Agonquit, Maine. O-G-U-N-Q-U-I-T, Maine, M-A-I-N-E, 03907. So just thinking of you cards. So anyways, so he's, he received about 11 cards today. Wow. Which is really that's exciting. Cool. Yeah, it was really neat. And, you know, just to see the joy and the smile on his face was... Uh, unbelievable. It was just, uh, my mother was just in tears, you know, as we're opening the cards and everything, you know, so it was really neat. And, um, you know, he got things from people I don't even know. You know, I've got a lot of Facebook messages, I've got a lot of Twitter messages. And just to see that people took two seconds out of their day to write him a note. There's one woman that wrote him a note. And she's going to continue to write to him. And she's a grandmother, oh, and she wonderful. has grandchildren his age. And he's like, wow, that's really neat. And there's a woman on Twitter that designed this Lamborghini car for him. And she had sent me a Twitter picture of it. Well, she had it created into an actual card. And then she sent him the card. And he was just thrilled to pieces with that because she's a lovely, lovely old artist. Her, her work is gorgeous. So, you know, it's just... People took two seconds out of their day to think of him. And he gets that. He understands that. And that it made him smile. And that was just so wonderful. So I think that's part of what it means to be ascended. To do something for somebody that you don't even know. But hmm. I don't know that it crossed your mind the other aspect of doing what you did for him. I did cross my mind. <laughs> all, these, all these other people that are sending these cards, yeah. all these other people that read the post, that heard the post, right. heard the announcement, right. everything else, they're all thinking about Ari right. and sending him well wishes. Right. And love and light. Healing energy. Yes, that's been in almost every single card. Right. I'm sending you Reiki, I'm sending you prayers, I'm sending you love and light. Almost every card has said that. Awesome. And he understands that because I, I had the conversation with him yesterday. I said, you know, this, you know, he's dealing with some very adult issues. And I said, you know what, we're going to overcome this. We're, we're going to we're gonna fix this. We're going to overcome this. Right. And I said, you know what, someday you're going to turn around and you're going to help other people. That's what it means to me to be ascended. Absolutely. That he totally recognizes the fact that, yes, he's got sort of this crap stuff going on now, but he gets the fact that people took two seconds out of their day to help him. He has always done stuff like that for other people, whether it be children or, you know, my, my, my mom gave him some money. Because we're going to Disney. We're going to take him to Disney. It's going to be his last last trip that he's going to be able to go on because he's not going to be able to be around people because he's going to be around. He's going to be on immunosuppressant drugs, so he's not going to be able to travel for a very long time. So we're taking him to Disney. Actually, we're leaving this weekend. So anyways, my mom gave him a little bit of spending money. And he looked at my mother. Now, I wasn't in the room. My mom told me this. And he said, I'm going to take my parents out to eat with this money. And I'm like... My mom's telling me this, and of course she's in tears telling me this. <laughs> she's always in tears. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, you know, that that selflessness, you know, here's a kid that has a little bit of money, knows he's going to Disney, wants to go to Legoland, you know? Kid loves yeah. Legos. And instead of saying, oh, good, I'm going to go buy this Lego set, he's like, oh, good, I'm going to take people out to eat. That's, that's sweet. That's ascended. Yeah. Of course, I said no. <laughs> and then he'll go to the Lego store and want to get like this hundred dollar set of Legos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'll be the bad guy there. So, <laughs> but that's okay. So you know, to me, that's what it means. It's that that selfless act is and thinking of others and seeing what you can do to help others. And sometimes we do things to help others, and it's 
it's to our own detriment. And that's not always a good thing either. No. So we need to think. I may have done that. I know you have, and that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of pointing at you as I'm saying it. <laughs> I know. I see that picture. <laughs> you know, we, we need to sort of um, be able to maintain our own, let's just say, energy and strength and all of that in order to be able to do our highest and best good. So if we put out more than where our reserves are, that's not... That's not what this is all about. Well, and and also there's always the the chance, even though even though we're psychic, we're both psychics, yep. and we're both. Um, I'm an empath. Yep, I am too. Um, yeah, we're both empathic. It it always seems like there's always a situation arising where we're investing in the wrong people. Yeah, that's happened. You know and. And I'm sure it's going to continue to happen, you know. No, I'm and sure it will, yeah. I think to be ascended means that you, you see the best in people as well, and you want to encourage that in people because that's, it's so wonderful. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You you see the, the possibility mm, right. of who they could be. Right, and who they should be. With, with a little guidance, with a little help. Or maybe with, they with don't With a little always, desire in their own right, hearts. Right, or maybe they don't always way. see that. <laughs> right. They, they, they could be in a sad place <clears throat> where they're not able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that happens. Mm -hmm. That happens. But you, you can't do things for somebody else. Right. You have to allow them to be able to make their own choices. This is their... This is their life, this is their path, this is what their soul chose for a reason. But we certainly can guide. You know, I don't go up to people and say, hey, you, right. <laughs> you need to stop having so much caffeine in your diet <laughs> because <laughs> that's stopping you from oh, doing it. Let me move over so you're pointing at pointing me. I'm pointing that again. <laughs> but I mean, you can't just like go up to people and say, hey, this is what you need to do in order to live your highest and best life. No. They have to want to do that for themselves. Actually, my coffee helps me at seven in the morning. <laughs> gives me back, gets me back on track. It gives you wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't, I don't do coffee. I don't do caffeine. So none of that works for me. So that's yep. that's descending for me. <laughs> but you know, and I am certainly not the poster child for all that's wonderful in the world. <laughs> I mean, I have, oh, I I have uh, but I have my own set of follies, my own set of things that I've worked through, and that's what's helped me to learn. Right. That's what's helped me to sort of figure it out, because I've had to figure it out. You know, it's, it's, we all have rocky roads, and that's okay. Absolutely. And that doesn't mean that it's going to continue to always be rocky. So in order to be ascended is, is seeing your own possibilities and, and, and trying to attain them and doing your best to do that. Yep. So I think we're all capable of that. Different stages in our lives, that's okay. You know, not every day is lollipops and rainbows, let me tell you. Yep. Absolutely not. <laughs> Great clouds every once in a while. <laughs> so, um, we should probably touch on um, mentoring and helping others. Absolutely. In their their path to ascension. Sure. I know there are. Let's see how many recently. There's one guy that I'm working with. A um, couple girls, and in the past there was a, a young man that I felt an attachment to. Yep. But I tried to help him along yep. the way. I've mentored many people along the way. As a matter of fact, I, I may have somebody that I'm going to be chatting with tomorrow that had, has asked for some help. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not always able to do, but when I have a few minutes and I'm able to, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know as long as it's, you know, fits into the schedule, you know, that, that's what we do, but we do. You and I both offer mentoring as um, on our website as a service Correct. as well. That's true. And the website is www.chrisann-jeff.com, and that that mentoring service is 
is something that we're, we're always happy to do, and, and we do that one on one, and we can sort of curtail that to exactly what it is that you need and oh, what absolutely. it is that you're you're at in the moment. Yep. Um, and that's wonderful. I've done I've done many of those actually in the past, yep. and it's it's very fulfilling because yes. when you see that twinkle in somebody's eye that they're getting it and that they're capable of that, it's really cool. Yep. Well, I enjoy working with um, other empaths as well, right? Especially those that are just starting on their path, and they've they've mm-hmm. got they've got so many issues that right. they're picking up so much from other people. It that they feel, yeah, yeah. I help them develop walls and set up Filters. controls. Filters. Correct. I, I yeah. help them to develop screen doors. I like to call it a screen door. Ah. So. It can come and go limited. Mm-hmm. You limit through the screen door. So it's not the complete wall, um, but you deal with people at a different level than what I deal with people. We each, you we each the people, own way. Right. You are the people that come to you that need you for that particular stage in, in their lives. And right. I get people that come to me that, uh, what I like about you and I working together, and we've said this many times, your work doesn't interfere with my work, and my work doesn't interfere with your work. Not at all. We do similar things. Some things we do totally different. Some things we do pretty much the same. Right. And then some things we do very, very similar, and that doesn't interfere. We are no. ascended enough. That's true. <laughs> and, well. and it doesn't interfere with us professionally and personally. No, and we both are at that point in our ascension, too, where... We know that we know a lot, but mm-hmm. there's so much more that we don't mm-hmm. know. Absolutely. Than what we know. And right. so we're very open minded. Mm-hmm. We're very, um, we can actually adapt to whoever right. it is that we're trying to help. Absolutely. And, and most of the time we give them what they need. Yeah, which is great, which is great when you're doing sort of those one on one. Right. Sessions and you know right now my time is a little, uh, but when I have the time and I'm able to do that, I I love it. I love it. Yeah. Running the shop, things are, are a little different. Yeah. Now. Yeah. With uh, with having time to do the private readings and the private tutoring sessions and you know that type of stuff. So yeah, it's really cool. It's I, I love it. That's part of the job that. I always hope we have time for because that's right. really it's really beneficial for both both parties for for yeah. them and for us because it's I don't know it's really neat because we learn at the same time just like you're saying you know we always learn from our students oh yeah absolutely yeah which is great being ascended is something that I used to think of as kind of an ego thing years ago. And I never sort of liked to say I was ascended because I always sort of looked at it as, huh, it's ego talking. Well, some people, when you tell them that they're ascended, they get in their mind that you think that you're better than they are, and and that's not the case at all. Or if you say to somebody you're very ascended, they might think they're going to be dying shortly. (laughs) Things ah. a misconception. <laughs> and that's not the case. No. <laughs> but but you know, I think we're all on the path of ascension. Let's just say that. Let's let's say we're on the path of ascension because yep. it's a very long and wide path. We're constantly learning, we're constantly picking up new tools for our tool bag, you know, within this within this fun path. So let's talk about how do we deal with those that aren't ascended at all? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the descended? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's so a battle. It is a battle, and it literally. Is like, yeah, I know. I had one last week. <laughs> yeah. I, I had. I really did. I had a knockdown, drag out fight, and I am not somebody that likes confrontation. I hate confrontation. Right. And I, I've been dealing with, so I'll use my personal example, I've been dealing with my son's school for five years. And for five years, they haven't been providing him what they legally and morally need to. Right. And I've had it. And I'm a cool, calm, quiet, little bit, five, two, little thing, you know? <laughs> and I just, I've had it. 
I finally unleashed. And, yep. you know, I released the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, I ended up yelling at somebody. Yeah. And I yelled not so much that they all came running. <laughs> and you know what? I, I chose to open up my throat chakra because they weren't listening any other way. And they were being of a very low vibration that they weren't doing their job. It wasn't just my son they weren't helping. It was other children within the district because I've had other parents come to me. So not only did I unleash the cracking for my son, but I did for those other children as well. Right. But, you know, if you are in this type of job, then you need to be able to do your job. Because if you're working for the children, you need to work for the children. Right. And I... Not for the government, not no, for the school. No, and I, I... Oh, I let them have it. <laughs> I let them have it in a big old way. And, you know, and, and was that the right or wrong thing? You know what? I'm not sorry whatsoever that I did it. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner, frankly. So dealing with these people every three weeks that I've had these stupid meetings, it's been a complete waste of my time, and frankly, theirs too. Um, you know, it, it just, I sit in these meetings and I think, you people just don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it, and you don't get it. So to me, that was dealing with people that weren't even remotely ascended because they had lost touch. Right. They had lost touch of what their job is, and their job is to work for the children. And I think the children is the, the not just the future. You know, we always say the children is the future, but, you know, it's really our our bigger future, the vibrational future of the planet is our children because these kids that are coming through now are so powerful and they're ascended before they even get here. And I think this society sometimes descends them. <laughs> you know, yeah. They're much, much more ascended than what we give them credit for. And yeah, it just bothers me when, when people can't see that and can't recognize that. It's just so sad. Yeah. So I decided to stand up for everybody in the town. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I don't always deal with non-ascended people by yelling at them by any stretch of the imagination. Well, you know, the situation that I'm dealing with is a situation where the people are refusing to do their jobs mm -hmm. and refusing to look out for the welfare of the people that they're right. supposed to be looking up right. to as well. Right. Um, my first response was to do some rather negative things right. Right. to them. And then after talking with my spirit guides and after meditating on it, I did just the opposite. Good. I raised the vibration of the whole place. Yep. There's actually one of the homeowners where I work mm -hmm. that has a Buddha out in their yard. Oh, nice. And it's almost in, well, it's not quite in the center of the entire community. Yeah. But it's something that, that anybody that drives by sees. Oh, nice. So I took one of my special crystals. Yeah. And um, it is residing oh, in the nice. hands of the Buddha. Nice. And, Did you uh, tell the people you were putting a crystal in their Buddha? Yeah, oh. <laughs> I, ex I explained it to him, I told him what it was for, yep. and I, I told him, now I'm putting this here, don't be upset yeah. if, if this is removed by somebody, yeah. because this stone, um, for light workers, for Reiki practitioners, this stone is used for cutting out mm -hmm. illness, cutting out... Um, issues that people have that need to be... So tell everybody what you placed. What type of crystal was it? I know what it was, but tell everybody what you did. <laughs> it was a laser quartz wand. Mm -hmm. One of your favorite crystals. And just a, a beautiful stone. Nice. And so I told him if it disappears, what the situation is, is that person did not steal it. Yeah. They had a need yeah. in their life that needed to be cut out. Yeah. They needed to be corrected. Right. They may bring it back. They may not. And what, what did the homeowner say? He said he understood. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Nice. See, they're ascended. And, and so with the others, I, I took some of my special, special oil, my Proclaim. Yep. Um, frankincense, myrrh, and a white sage oil I, I make myself. Mm -hmm. 
And I just went around bringing it on doorknobs, <laughs> especially the first ones that the, the, the problem children touch when they come to work every right. day. So, but you needed, you needed everybody to sort of get out of their doldrums. Well, I needed them to change their agenda because right. their agenda was to get rid of me, right. right? Because I make waves because things aren't being done in a safe and professional manner. Right, and you're not putting that on somebody's personal doorknob. You're putting it on public places. Right, absolutely. Yeah, it's very, yeah. very public place. So I'm, I'm spreading it to everybody. Right. Well, just not the workers, but the... The, the homeowners as well that come, right. come into the clubhouse. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's a very, very public building. It's a public place. Yeah. It's a public situation. So the goal is to raise the vibration for everybody until I can get my butt out of there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Because so. you're working on, on, on better on, things. Uh, you are. And you know what? I, I think it's, it's a great place on paper. You know, there's some wonderful people that are there. Yeah, absolutely. You're there. The the general manager is a wonderful person. She's, she's wonderful, right? Yeah. Right. So I mean, those are just some of the ways that that we do or don't do <laughs> what we need to do. And you know, normally what I do is I really do spread peace, love, and light. And I have right. done that at every single one of these. I, but you know what? You needed to. And and that, that really wouldn't be my first thing to tell people to do. You know, somebody had suggested, I think it was you actually, that I go in and I smudge before every meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just smudging the room. <laughs> oh, I brought in my bag. I have a bag that's a Ouija board, but it's a tote bag. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Clients to me. Yeah. So I use that. So I put that right on the table. And then I have, you know, my witchy cape that I have. I think I wore that once. And then my witchy shirt and my very witchy shoes and my witchy skirt. I, I've done all that. <laughs> I go in normally very, very business attire looking because I am a very professional person. Yep. Yeah looking person <laughs> but you know what I've, I've gone wearing my my fun what I call my witchy clothes you yeah. know I think next time that you have a meeting you should make a couple gallons of your smudge spray water and <laughs> put it in the super circle <laughs> no they're not having meetings with me anymore they're afraid I know, I know. <laughs> we've been barred I've been barred but that's okay that's okay because now I chuckle about it, and you know yeah. they're afraid of little old me, which is I know really comical. But that's okay. Yeah. Um, so you know what? <laughs> we are going to take a little bit of a commercial break right here. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about more of the positive aspects <laughs> of helping people to to ascend and to find their highest and best good. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You've been listening to Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Jeff on Pagan Business Network Radio. We'll be right back. Are you ready to have some fun? Then come and check out Raven's Shadow Crafts, home of the Poppet with a Pocket. These unique handmade poppets come ready to go, pre-stuffed with herbs and in colors designed for your intent. They also have a pocket on the back to add any herb, stone, or personal item you want to make this poppet complete. Just charge and it's ready to go. Other handmade items are Grigri bags, goddess symbols, mini skull magnets, and more. So check them out on Facebook at Raven's Shadow Crafts. Park your broom and stay a spell. That's www.facebook.com slash Raven's Shadow Crafts. We'll see you there. This is a message from Hawthorne at Magic in Your Living Room. The Etsy shop includes ritual programs and gorgeous altar cloths. We feature ready-to-use rituals for only $3 or less. You get step-by-step -step instructions including a list of necessary items, how to set up the altar, and a complete program for all ritual activity. We also have beautiful altar cloths for all holidays. Magic in Your Living Room is located at Etsy at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash magic in living room or at www 
www.magicinyourlivingroom.com. Hello and welcome back to Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Jeff. And I'm Chris Ann. I'm Jeff. And you are listening on the Pagan Business Network Radio. Welcome back. So we are talking about what it means to be ascended. Dealing with people that really aren't ascended, <laughs> have no clue that they're not ascended, they don't care that they're not ascended. They don't even know what ascension is. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> no. no. So, um, we, we're going to talk about ways that we can help people gain ascension. Yes. And, and you know, I touched on... Um, some people think that in order to be ascended, that means that they're sort of near death. To be crossing over to the other side is a form of ascension. And as a light worker, you can sort of help people to um, release and let go. Yep. I, I get that from my dog. My, my dog was needed to cross over. He really needed to cross over. And he was very, very ill. With the help of the vet, and I was there, and I did Reiki on him at the exact same time. It was, yeah, it was emotional. <laughs> but, yeah. You know what? What? What is sort of joy and a gift that was to be able to do Reiki on him at the exact same time? And I really, I felt his soul lift and go and leave. And that in itself is a form of ascension. I believe in what he's doing, but I am not Dr. Right. Kaburki, and I don't do that. I deal with the soul level things of, of helping to release some of those ties that are um, tying it down unnecessarily. You know, a lot of times we have things at all stages of our life that just need to be cut. And you were talking about that with the laser quartz wand, that right. it's a great stone to, to help cut and release. And I've got some. I've got some other crystals here too. Some great stones that can help you to get in touch with your higher self and to receive higher guidance is angelite. And angelite is a lovely. Um, it's kind of like a pastelly kind yep. of bloom stone, and that helps you. Like I said, get in touch with your higher self, receive guidance. It can help you to find answers. And how do you decide what is your best course of action? And aquamarine is another one because it helps you to boost your psychic abilities. Now, indigo aura is another one. And there's so many different aura crystals. There's angel aura. There's, I don't know, we've got a ton of the aura ones here. Um, but indigo aura helps you to um, categorize your visions helps you to sort of um, understand your visions and it can be very grounding for you as as well helps you with your dreams your ideas um, it can also help you with your addiction some other great stones are hematite bloodstone garnet and ruby can be really calming and that, that in itself, to be calmer, is a way that you can allow things. You can allow life to be wonderful. You can allow you to stop and smell the roses. Right. Doesn't mean you're going to allow terrible things to happen, but you, you slow down. So you can right. just take a deep breath and just be. Well, I mean, <clears throat> when things that are of a negative nature do come, mm -hmm. then you also realize that it's part of what you chose. Right, which you signed up for. And, you know, you work through it, and you you have the, instead of getting wrapped up in it and being overwhelmed by it, you kind of have a, a mind of, what am I meant to learn through mm. this? Absolutely. So I've got some more stones for you. Yep. Because you cool. like my crystals. So, labradorite, selenite, amethyst, and moonstone are good because they can help you with your transition to your higher consciousness. Uh -huh. So, labradorite and amethyst can help with more grounding energy while helping you to understand yourself and what your purpose is. Um, they can also help you to 
see and address this transformation so you can make the best possible choices. So working with crystals is another great way. Um, I, I know you like the laser quartz ones, which are, which are perfect for your vibration. Those work great for you. Yep. And it's, um, it's a type of quartz. It's a, it's a wand. That's that is a specific type of quartz. So just because it looks like a quartz doesn't mean it's a quartz. There's there are all different types of quartz, right. and we can tell that based on the formation of the crystal, based on the vibration, the energy of the crystal, all of that. Um, but yeah, I, I know what was it like a year or so ago? We invested in these laser quartz wands that we got right. directly from the mines. So we dealt with right. the, with the, um, the mines yeah. themselves. And um, we have a ton of them. They're wonderful. They're wonderful, wonderful. I'm almost out. We're going to have no, to I start. No, I have more. I know. We're going to have to start writing yours. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have my private stash. I know. But when I said the word private. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I went through them before you got your private. I know you did. I know. Another stone yeah. that I like to use, um, and it's, it's sort of akin to the laser quartz, is I like Lumerian quartz. Right. So laser quartz is your your baby. Lemurian quartz is my baby. And Lemurian quartz helps you tap into the energy of the past lives. It can also help you connect into the energy of the Akashic Records, which of course is, is how I do my readings. Right. I'm, a, I'm a psychic that does readings of the Akashic Records. And Lemurian quartz are here from the time of Lemuria and Nu, which was before Atlantis. So they were left here from then to be used now right. and so I teach um, specific classes actually on using the Lemurian quartz and all the wonderful energy that's in it so the, the healing wonderful energy that's, that's very connected to the healing unicorn energy as well hmm. and those are the ones that I like those are sort of my ascended stones Cool. and I have thanks to you a multitude of amazing Lumerian crystals yeah. in my in my private collection but we also have some wonderful Lumerians here in all um, and, and laser quartz ones in all price ranges so if anybody's interested um, those are not on the website those contact us and we're more than happy to send you pictures because those are all yeah. one of a kind yeah. and um, the, the stones that we have the crystals that we have um that are on the website are one price stones. Right. There, we have a multitude of very special, unique crystals that are individual hundreds, price. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of them. Yeah. yeah, so the website is, once again, it's www.chrisann-jeff.com, and that's C H R I S A N N dash J E F F dot com. And that's a way to get in touch with us. You can email us through the website if there's something that you're looking for. Or you can go on to Facebook. And that's Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Jeff on Facebook. And you can contact us there or Twitter at Chris Ann1234. And on Facebook and Twitter, it's me that you're talking to. On the website, it's you that they're talking yep. to. So that's that's how we divide it up. <laughs> yeah. I so, fall down on the job sometimes. That's but. all right. I'm ascended enough to say Yay. that's all right. <laughs> so um, other ways that we can help people to be ascended. So, so we talked about the crystals. So to clear people, to clear whether it be smudging, spray smudge, cutting with crystals, um, on the etheric field, not actual cutting of the body, but cutting energetic ties. Those are ways to help you to release what's not working for your highest and best good so that you're able to um, not have that bogging you down and tying you down. Um, and, and clearing your aura, clearing your chakras, those are different ways that you can um, find a little bit more higher ascension. But my favorite way is to laugh. Yeah. Just simply laugh raises your vibration. And that's so simple. And that's so wonderful. You know, I like to watch all my, my little murder mysteries at night. That's what I like to watch going to sleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like the um, Agatha Christie ones, you know, like Poirot and Miss Marple and all those, those fun things. 
But every once in a while, I need to chuck in a comedian. I like to watch the, you know, I watch Netflix. So yeah. I like to watch the um, stand-up comedian. So every once in a while, you need that raising your vibration of the laughter. Right. And that is such a wonderful, simple, easy way to do that. And of course, I have a puppy. So, you know, she makes me laugh every once in a while. <laughs> I'm not always laughing. But <laughs> She certainly makes me laugh. So yeah. that's, that's a she great way. She's a <laughs> but she's still doing it as a pretty, pretty princess. So that's yeah. okay. So, you know, I look at the innocence of the of the, the puppies and the innocence of the children. And that's such a such a joy, such an I easy know. way to raise your vibration. Yep. Any other ways that you want to chuck in? Well, yeah. let's see. Um... Well, of course, I do my mantras. Yes, you do. It helps raise my vibrations yes. as well as meditation. Oh, that's um, right. That's right. The, a lot of times the people that are coming into our lives that we are, are being felt the need to um, mentor or help them even for a short time on their path, um, a lot of times... They are souls that we've worked with in the past, Absolutely. lives as well. We've tried to lift up and help along them. The way that I see the the ascension isn't so much as a ladder, but as a wheel with spokes in it. And each lifetime is a spoke, and the central hub is the the actual goal. When all the spokes have, have been placed or lived or however you want to term it, right. um, you reach the hub and the crux of your ascension. Right. So. Right. You know, it's it's not, it's not an easy, easy thing, but yet it's easier than you think. Right. To say, I, I'm looking for ascension, I'm trying to get a little more ascended. You know, it's something that is super attainable. Right. It's something that it's, I mean, you children do it all the time. Well, and, and being ascended isn't about trying to be perfect. Mm. Being Good ascended point. is just having the frame of mind that your actions create reactions. And if your actions align with the highest and best good of yourself, and of the world, right. then they're going to cause positive ripples in in the entire energy of Absolutely. this existence. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Because one thing affects the next thing that right. affects the next thing. Right. Absolutely. And nobody's perfect. We we all yeah. we all have to know that we're capable of failing. Right. But failing does not mean defeat. Right, I have some more crystals to chuck in. Oh, cool. Draw me, information. Draw me at me. So, some other crystals to help with ascension are Moldavite. Uh -huh. And Moldavite is actually a, um, um, oh, crying out loud, what's that word I want? <laughs> it's a, um, um, falls from the sky. Meteor. Yeah. Thank you. It's a meteorite. And they're only found in Moldavia. So that's why it's called Moldova. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't know that. Yes, and if you hold it up to the light, it's, they're green. Uh -huh. they're, they're lovely green. And if you hold it up to the light or up to a window, it's almost kind of see-through, like a piece of green glass. Mm. Um, they're, they're pretty. We, have, we actually have quite a few of them here in the shop. Um, it's not a cheap stone, but it's a great stone. I have an entire set of jewelry. And as much as I love things from that are otherworldly, I can't wear that set of jewelry too, 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 too long. Um, and it's because they're big, huge chunks. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the earrings and the ring and the necklace. And I, don't, of course, have to wear it all together at once. <laughs> it's not a set I can sleep in. Um, so that's one. Another one that's really nice is Dan Bright. Dan mm -hmm. Bright is a really pretty stone as well. And then there's Azulite, which is a wonderful stone. And Tektite is another one. And Tektite is also another form of a meteorite as well, right. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Um, another stone 
that's really good for working with ascension is one that I love and I, I have jewelry that I wear of this too all the time is Auralite and I love working with Auralite Auralite is a, a wonderful stone to work with ascension and you know if you've, if you've been trying to work with some of these stones and it's just not working for you yet the stone will tell you when it's ready so I find that especially for Moldavite and Auralite um, another stone that's really easy to work with is bloodstone and that's great to help with ascension and solite is another really easy stone to work with and those just like amethyst very easy to work with helps with ascension but another great stone is kunzite kunzite is a nice stone we actually have a few pieces here in the shop in i don't even know if i know what that looks like yes they're in a glass display case uh, we'll have to show you. Show those I will. I'll show you. Um, so yeah, I handpicked them, <laughs> just like I handpicked the multivite. Well, I handpick everything for the shop. <laughs> Let's just say that. But yeah, these those specific pieces. Yeah. This one's mine. This yeah. one for the shop. <laughs> one, one for five. the shop. Two for me. <laughs> 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 surrounded with all these yummy stones all the time. So no, 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 no. I, I have them in the display case and they're nice yeah it's it's another stone that's not um it's not super expensive but it's not well moldavite's much more expensive but kunzite is nice it's a it's a it's a higher vibration stone that i think isn't as intimidating as some may think much like the oil light some people are more intimidated with some of those higher vibration Stone, so all is a form of amethyst as well. So mm -hmm. all is a really nice stone, and um, so those are some stones to work with that are really good for helping you with ascension. So have your crystals work for you. Have them work with you. Have them say, hey, you know, this is what I'm working on. Let's do a meditation. Let's see how we can do this. Surround yourself with your crystals. Put your crystals in your hand, you lay down and stick your crystals on your forehead, on your third eye. Right. However it I've is, it works for you. I know, I have yeah. too, it's great. Make a crown and put the crystals in it. So it's it's an easy way to get some answers by doing the meditation. It's an easy way to recognize what's in not only your highest and best good, but those around you's highest and best good. And I think that's really what it is to be ascended, is to recognize that, you know, we're all here together on this same planet, and we're all essentially have the same goals in mind, some a little more than others. <laughs> and, you know, I... I am of the belief that everybody is intrinsically good. Right. I really am. And I think for us to be able to tap into that and recognize that in each other is such a wonderful thing. And I think that children <laughs> tend to do that much better than adults. And I think animals do that in a wonderful way, too. Well, I think that is because animals and children do not have um, agendas for the most part. Mm. They don't have yeah, both of them. schemes. The agenda is feed me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> both for the animals and the children. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> feed me, feed me, feed me. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it for agendas for them. That's okay. You know, that, I have that agenda too. <laughs> what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? <laughs> and that's okay. And a lot of people view what they eat as a form of their ascension. You know, that's I know true. Um, a lot of vegetarians. You know, I, I, I'm an animal communicator. So I stopped eating meat for quite a while. And I noticed that my communication with the animals had shifted. It was really, really interesting. And, of course, I live with a bunch of carnivores, so that didn't, <laughs> didn't last I was going to say, I haven't seen you talking to your plate of lobster yet. Yeah. <laughs> that was a while ago I did that. <laughs> Be thankful I'm not doing it now, Mr. Carnivore. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I hope you 
hope you enjoyed our talk on different ways to be ascended, recognizing what it is to be ascended, recognizing what it isn't to be ascended. You know, some days I am a great example of that. Because I'm not always, I am not always walking around with that halo on top of my head. Do not get me wrong. That is not what it means to be ascended. What it means to be ascended is just simply doing your highest and best good in the moment. Right. And every moment is different. Every single one. And when that moment isn't happening, when you're failing right. in your ascension, it's a passing thing. Absolutely. Unless somebody YouTubes it. And <laughs> yeah. That comes with a learning curve. Learning curve as well. well, it does. It does. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. So... Thank you so much for joining us every single week and joining in on our fun, exciting topics because we love we love picking exciting topics. Yep. So if anybody has any suggestions on something that you would like us to talk about, we are always open to that. So feel free to get in touch. The two places to get in touch with us for that would be on Facebook at Elemental Energies with Christian and Jeff. And on Twitter, at Chrisanne1234. So drop us a line. Let us know. Is there something you want us to talk about? Because we, we view this sort of like a little mini class. Yep. Class for us. Class for you. We love everybody tuning in. We love the, we love the energy. We love yeah. the sharing. So if anybody has um, a topic that you'd like us to talk about, please get in touch with us. We are thrilled to entertain whatever it is somebody wants us to talk about. And we love having all of our different metaphysical conversations. It's fun for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, you know, this is, this is our time to sit down and just sit and talk yeah. after a long, busy day. That's right. And we appreciate you all listening and chiming in. So we love all that. So thank you all so much for listening. You've been listening to Elemental Energies with Chris Ann and Jeff. And I'm Chris Ann. I'm Jeff. And you've been listening on Payton Business Network Radio. Thank you all so much. Be free. <laughs>